If I had to start learning web development all over again in 2025, I'd do things very differently. The first mistake most beginners make is diving straight into frameworks like Angular, React, or Next.js without even knowing the basics of the web. If I were starting fresh, I'd lock myself in with the foundations, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Not tutorial hell, not copying random code snippets, but actually building tiny things, like a personal homepage with only HTML and CSS, or a simple to-do list in plain JavaScript. Once you learn those raw building blocks, every framework you touch later will suddenly make sense instead of feeling like black magic. After that, I'd move on to modern JavaScript, not just learning the syntax, but really understanding how promises, async await, and ES6 plus features actually work. Back in the day, people used jQuery for everything, but in 2025, you don't need that. The browser APIs are strong enough now that vanilla JS is a superpower on its own. For example, using fetch to grab data from an API and then rendering it in the DOM. That skill alone is enough to make you feel like you can build real apps. And trust me, if you understand JavaScript deeply, React or Vue or Svelte won't scare you later. Then comes the step where I'd introduce frameworks, but I'd be more strategic about it. In 2025, React is still everywhere, but it's not the only game in town. If I was restarting, I'd pick one framework and I'd stick with it until I could build a real project. That could be a blog with Next.js or a small e-commerce site. The point isn't to dabble in every framework, it's to understand one deeply enough that you can ship something. Once you do that, picking up Vue or Svelte or Angular later becomes easy because the concepts like components, state, and routing are universal, so you will find them in almost every framework. Now, while learning front-end, I wouldn't ignore the back-end like I did the first time around. In 2025, you don't need to become a back-end wizard to get started. Oh. I cast Fireball! <laughs> Fireball! Fireball! But you should at least know the basics. Node.js with Express, or even better, something like Next.js's API routes, is enough to get you comfortable with APIs, <laughs> databases, and authentication. For example, learning how to build a simple notes app where you can log in and save stuff to a database or even a file will teach you way more than just reading about REST or GraphQL in theory. Now let's be honest, databases are where most beginners get scared off. But in 2025, you've got tools like Superbase, PlanetScale, or Firebase that make it insanely easy to spin up a database and connect it to your project. Instead of struggling with local MySQL installs, I just use those. It's not cheating. It's how companies do it now too. Once you understand the basic idea of tables, relations, and queries, you can decide if you want to dig into SQL deeply later. Another thing I would change is how I approached learning in general. Instead of spending months stuck in tutorials, I'd adopt project-based learning from day one. The trick is to pick projects that are small enough that you can actually finish them a weather app, a blog, or even a basic chat app if you're feeling fancy. These sound simple, but finishing them teaches you about APIs, CRUD operations, authentication, deployment, and debugging in ways tutorials never do. Science actually backs this up too. Active recall and hands-on practice are way more effective than passive learning. Finally, I'd focus way earlier on deployment and DevOps basics. Back when I started, I thought deployment was some advanced wizardry. But in 2025, you literally can push a repo to GitHub and deploy with services like Vercel or Netlify in seconds. Learning how to actually put something live on the internet not only feels incredible, it makes your portfolio real instead of just screenshots. And employers love seeing that you can take something from idea to shipped product. So if I had to start web development all over again in 2025, the flow would be simple. Foundations first, modern JavaScript second, one front-end framework, back-end basics, databases with modern tools, project-based learning, and deployment as early as possible. That's the stack that makes you dangerous fast without wasting years on things that don't matter anymore. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.